We all know that there's a lot of wonderful things that we get enormous benefit from that we take for granted. Think about good health. That's something that uh, when you're young and vibrant, you just take for granted. Free markets are another benefit that we take for granted. We get enormous benefits from free markets. Now, in both cases, we would miss good health. When we lose it, we miss it. If all of a sudden there were no free markets, would you be happy? Even people who criticize free markets, if they had to live in, let's take an extreme example, North Korea, they would not be happy. They would miss enormously the benefits that they just took for granted in free markets. A lot of people think that we should have more, more concern and an economy that's uh, more likely to foster caring for others. Seeing people that you see that need help and being willing to sacrifice to help each other. A caring and sharing society, you know, much more than, say, a free market, you know, competitive economy. I'm not criticizing people who are market skeptics. We all, we all respond. That's why it works so well. We don't even know what we're doing. It's automatic. We don't have to think about it. Gotta complain about people always wanting our money. Let's assume we had a situation where everybody became a saint. Almost everybody. And they decided they, were, they didn't want money. That was so crass, just grubbing for money. They wanted to be, have a spiritual existence and get in touch with the real meaning of life. And I'm not making fun of this. I'm glad some people do this. But let's assume everybody did it. And they wanted to commune with nature, appreciate the finer things in life, like the birds and the bees and, and all the things that we, 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 we really need, you know, nature. But they're not going to be producing much because they're just going to eat acorns. What would you think if almost everybody started doing that? What would happen to all those goods and services you see when you're walking into the store? They would have disappeared, wouldn't they? Well, nobody wants your money. They're not going to produce what you might be willing to buy and anxious to buy. Pretty soon you're probably getting hungry. You're trying to grow your own grub. But you'd say, what happened? Where's McDonald's? Where's, where, where's, where's the people that fill the produce department at the store? Where are they? Well, you would be really happy to have some self-interest. And Adam Smith told you why. It's not from the benevolence of the butcher, or the brewer, or the baker that we expect our dinner, but from their regard to their own interest. And we address ourselves not to their humanity, but to their self-love. And never talk to them of our own necessities, but of their advantages. I'm so happy that there's millions of people out there that want my money in return for a wonderful array of goods and benefits.